Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to create a luminosity and luminescent material in V-Ray for Cinema 4D and uh, I will explain you a little bit of tricks with this not very now material in, uh, in CGI so let's begin first of all, oh, I delete this one, it's a test for me first of all, it's simply by default, for any material, go to V-Ray Bridge and create a V-Ray Advanced Material. Name it, it's a simple material, name it Luma, for example. And uh, for create a basic material, I wanted to disable this diffuse layer and activate my luminosity layer. This is create our simple basic materials. I will apply it to my test sphere. Uh, I have already um, my physical camera set it up a bit with some tricks in the exposure, as you can see here. And I have also to disable this vignetting effect because I don't want it. And the white balance is set it up neutral because we are in a, a studio environment so I don't have a strange lighting or uh, a sky on it so the white balance is set to white okay this is our basic settings as you can see in my object list here I don't have any light for now and I have added to my scene these two pieces of uh, planes to simply bouncing a bit uh, our luminosity um, light emitted by my material so I want to set it up properly so I think I will put it uh, here and maybe we can trick a bit our lens of these two planes okay just to be rough but uh, for this is only an example, I don't want it to be uh, very precise. So I'll go to my camera and uh, now I will show you how to create the basic settings. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is our basic setting if you activate only the luminosity layer here. You have an amount of 100% white color and the uh, transparency see, set it up to 99%. This is the I mm, this I don't want it because uh, uh, I want a, a solid color. This uh, uh, so I'm going to set it up our transparency amount to 0%. The parameters here control some settings of the um, uh, of these materials. Double sided is uh, emitted uh, on the, the front side of these faces and also on the other side of these faces. So mm, it's up to you if you. It's in the, this is set. This settings is important if you assign uh, this kind of material on a plane, for example, a simple plane. And one, um, if you uh, leave checked uh, the double size exposure, it's emitted. The light is emitted from every side of this plane. And uh, if you disable double side, it's emitted only from the normal side. Or from the normal side of the, the plane. Okay, let's return to our settings. Uh, emit uh, um, compensate exposure. Uh, it's very important to work with a physical camera. That's because uh, um, uh, it's uh, these settings uh, is set it up. It creates a physical um, accurate results with uh, using uh, a physical camera and global illumination settings that I use usually for my render so I leave this 
check it up and direct illumination enable some uh, settings for uh, faking uh, a light but uh, we can see the difference in a, in, a, in a moment and as you can see you have some, uh, the basic control for every light you can create in the ray so intensity, thresholds, diffuse, specular, shadows and so on anything else so let's see what happens if I set it up my material and I want to see what it look like in my render in my basic render so I'm gonna keep this set up okay I want gradient snap light cache okay set it up to bucket Okay, and let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see, I have created our basic luminosity material, and uh, this is this kind of material you, you can use this kind of material to create uh, um, basic um, light bulbs. Uh, uh, visible light in render and anything else as you can see it creates a little bit of glowing parts on other surface like here but it doesn't illuminate very well that's because it's a simple uh, radiance diffuse uh, from this it's, on, it's not a, a light it's faking light faking let's see what happens if we, if we activate this direct illumination and let's see the difference okay as you can see by activating direct illumination uh, parameters it's create it's like create a, a mesh light like this it's very uh, light very mesh light it's very similar to it and as you can see by comparing this to render the second one is more lighting accurate uh, and create a very good uh, lighting it. as you can see we, we can control the intensity the, and, and it kind of settings similar to any kind of light in V-Ray okay now I want to show you use V-Ray dirt maybe we can uh, ah, sorry as you can see by this to render time using direct illumination is very very low uh, compared with the, the simple material here it's about three times it's a good uh, it's a very heavy um, increasing of time uh, okay as you can see uh, now I want to disable this to see what happened if we use we radiate an included color I want to set it up with a V-Ray bridge V-Ray use color maybe and set it up to white go back why this is done work so clear and use a simple V-Ray not Fresner but uh, we can include color of white and occluded color maybe we can try it with almost black and let's see what happens with this be ready to apply to it
Okay, as you can see this kind of material creates a variation on this uh, luminescent map and for me it's, it's not uh, very important the use of the radiate so it's uh, basic ambient occlusion on this kind of material but it's up to you and uh, feel free to use these settings uh, in any effect you want to create for me in this kind of material it's, it's not important maybe we can try by inverting normal and see what happens in my render live on this reidea As you can see by inverting the normal it doesn't work very well. I think this kind of material is not very physically accurate for what I usually create, so I don't want to use V-Radiate in my render. Okay, this is our basic setting on uh, luminosity layer. You can use this kind of a effect on, uh, on your scene to create uh, light, neon bulbs and everything else. So I, I hope you enjoy this kind of render and uh, in the next part of this tutorial on the uh, illumination material I want you to uh, create a I want you to teach you how to create a simple lamp uh, scene with uh, Cinema 4D and V-Ray. So stay tuned for the next tutorial. Bye!